Hey, join us in the garage and behind me is a Volkswagen Up GTI. Now this is something that we've been tuning for a while but we've not had the opportunity to put together a video and show our stage one package. So uh, today this vehicle behind me is going to be having a Scorpion catback exhaust with a carbon tip. It's going to be having a racing line dropping panel filter which we'll do on the dyno and then it's going to be a stage one voodoo calibration. So we'll uh, jump straight on, get the car in the air and go ahead and fit the exhaust first. So you've now seen the car have its exhaust fitted and been run up on the dyno. Now, part of our process is we check all the fluids and make sure everything's safe to run stock on the dyno. And then we do an initial data log. So I've pulled that off, which we'll show you in a moment. But behind me is the dyno graph that suggests this car is definitely stock. So we've got 100 wheel horsepower, which would suggest that given this is 115 horsepower quoted by Volkswagen, that we've got about a 15% drivetrain loss. So when we get our stage one figures, we can add 15% to that, and that will give us a correction from the wheels to the engine power or flywheel power. It's also making 140 foot-pounds of torque, so we're expecting on our stage one to see anywhere around 170, 175 foot-pound of torque if it's happy, um, and we're expecting to see up to about 130 wheel horsepower. Fingers crossed we'll get where we need to be. The car looks like it's healthy at the moment, so we'll review the data logs upstairs just to give you guys an idea of what we look at, and then we'll get the tune on and uh, off we go. So this is what we need to look at to understand what the engine's doing on this particular car. This is a, on this particular car we're using uh, VCDS, because it's a Volkswagen Audi Group vehicle. This is what we use to get all of the data that you guys don't see when you're looking at your dyno graph, which is ultimately just an indication of torque and power. This particular set of data that I've got here gives me everything from what the throttle position is doing, if it's pulling ignition timing out, which tells me we've got an issue, uh, what the fuel pumps are doing, and what the overall ignition timing target is versus what we're actually getting. So quite often when we look at this, we can understand if a customer's not put the correct fuel in the vehicle, or if it's making too much boost, not enough boost. We can also see things like charge temperature, which tells us if the intercooler's working correctly. And we can also see intake temperature, which tells us if we're getting a, a good cold feed of air into the engine. So ultimately, you've got what comes in to the intake, we can get the temperature of that. It goes through the turbocharger, into the intercooler on the hot side, and then we can get the charge temperature from the cold side to be able to tell if everything's working in harmony. Obviously, the better that all works together, which is why you would add hardware, that then means that we're going to be able to make more power. So, with everything looking healthy stock, we can now tune the vehicle, get the same set of data again, and lay it up to make sure that not only we're making the numbers that the customer wants, but more importantly to us, we are getting the correct healthy data that we wish 
from the car to make sure that this customer is going to have a vehicle that's got longevity as well as power. So to give some indication without going too deep into this and it becoming too complicated, you can see here the engine RPM which is rising from where the dyno is holding it at 1500 RPM and this particular car finishes at 6500. Now the green line here is telling me that although it says 88% throttle position, that actually means 100% in real terms. So we can see that the throttle's open completely all the way through the run. If on modern day um, electronic control systems like this particular one, if there's an issue with it hitting too much boost or it's unhappy with the fuel pressure, quite often it will see a dip where the throttle closes to avoid any damage, it's, it's called comp component protection. So we can see here that we've got a full wide open throttle all the way through the run, all the way up to 6,500 RPM. We've got intake air temperature starts at 35 degrees, which is not fantastic given it's a little bit cooler today, but this is a small engine compartment. Um, and we finish at 42 degrees. So ultimately, if we were able to bring the intake temperature down, what that allows us to do is give the intercooler a better chance of being able to cool it further down towards ambient temperature. In this case, this car is completely stock uh, induction side, so we're going to put a panel filter in it, we'll measure that again and see whether we've got a reduction in intake temperature, which in turn should allow us to make a little bit more power. We can see that the ignition timing up the top is currently targeting 8 degrees of ignition timing, which in theory it's not pulling any ignition, so it's probably able to take a little bit more. And if I just click down here, we've got the charge air pressure, which is boost pressure. And we've got, a, that's an actual value, so that's the boost pressure that it's making, versus the specified boost pressure, which you can see more or less follows suit. So this boost control is working really well from stock. Now what we'll be able to see is that at peak, I'm going to say this car's doing right around 1.3 to 1.4 bar of boost peak. Um, and then it tails off down to right around well just over half a bar of um, boost pressure right up at the top so when we've now tuned the vehicle we'll be able to check that again and make sure that we're hitting the correct boost pressure for a stage one car and that the there is no negative effects on the ignition timing we should actually see a little bit more ignition timing without it pulling any out I look obsessed when I watch you do that dance for me. Love it, love it, love it. Right, so we have now run the car up on the dyno with our stage one tune on there. Uh, behind me are the figures. It's made a considerable gain on both the power and torque as we expected. We've hit 124 point sum at the wheels, um, which relates to about 142 horsepower at the engine at a 15% correction factor. We've got 172 foot pounds. So we're right on the money where we wanted to be. So we are going to take the data logs upstairs. I'll go through the data as well try and give you a bit of an insight as to what we look at to make sure the car's running safe with our software on so reviewing these logs we can see that the car has now got an increased amount of boost pressure we're up at peak we're doing just over 1.5 bar of boost so it should be nice and safe at that that's about where I'd want to get to with the stock cat in place um, and on the stock turbo without over speeding it we can see that the ignition timing is still running at around eight degrees just just over where we were before so we've only increased the ignition timing uh, marginally and increased a little bit of boost pressure the overall figures and the data show here that everything's happy as it should be we've actually got a slight increase in intake air temperature up to 45 degrees at the top of the run now the reason for that is obviously we're creating more boost pressure and specifically around here at the very top we're actually uh, 0.2 of a bar up as well. So all the way through the rev range we've got more boost and a little bit more timing so it is going to create more heat. That's exactly what we'd expect it to do. We can see there's no um, uh, ignition being pulled by the ECU so that means it's completely happy. So I'm happy with these logs. Having driven the car 
it's fantastic the customer is going to be blown away it's a shame that the weather's so bad because the uh, wheel spins difficult in first and second but you know overall once he gets this car out in a uh, on a dry road he's going to really enjoy himself so thank you for watching we will um, drop any links or anything like that in the description below so that you can get to the product if you've got any questions feel free to comment or give us an email and i will try and answer them personally